appreciate it. It is my pleasure and honor to conduct here my lecture. And uh, at least two uh, important reasons there are for such kind of excitation. The first one is that uh, I extremely appreciate with professional audience and uh, I'm coach myself. And so I'm, I know that uh, this is profession that needs high level creativity and uh, I suppose the second reason is very uh, concerned with the first one because the second reason is that I'm very pleased to conduct the lecture on the topic of block periodization. So then uh, with this uh, science of organization where, where I am representative and uh, elite sport department of Tifra Israel and the uh, Olympic Committee of Israel where I work and uh, yes this is the topic of my lecture today block periodization con concept applied to planning sport training and uh, with this my introduction I'm, I am and uh, with this uh, plan of my lecture According to this plan, we will work during two hours, as Yosef said me before. So, and I will start from the traditional theory, from the viewpoint of criticism and restrictions of traditional approach. Uh, alternative approach, backgrounds and basics will be introduced in the second part of my lecture. And uh, applications to practice and recommendations, of course, your questions and my answers will be the final part of our uh, consideration here. Let's start from the traditional approach and traditional theory of periodization. It was reproduced in many, many books in many languages. And in, in, in each uh, source you can find the similar graphs and uh, initially it was introduced by uh, Eastern European scientist Masli, previous Soviet Union, Professor Matveev and uh, other authors. But the general idea is very comprehensive and very popular and still used in many sports and mostly in uh, junior sports and uh, uh, medium level sports. The uh, general idea is that a relatively long period of preparation is uh, subsequent and after that subsequent blo uh, period of, compet of competitions sorry no, no, okay uh, please please uh, assist me it is, was not my intention to uh, uh, come uh, come back yes please okay well so uh, this is forward Back. Okay, thank you. It's enough. I will be more accurately. Okay, well, so, and uh, after that, transition period. And with this uh, uh, general approach to uh, periodization, it was mostly useful for season sports like rowing, like uh, skying, like um, cycling. And after some short period, it was clear for everyone that it is one peak is not enough. Mostly for sports like swimming, like track and field, one peak is not enough. It should be divided for some uh, major, many, many parts, many uh, cycles. So the second approach was two peak periodization with preparatory period, after that competitive period, and after the transition, and once again, and so two peaks better than one. After some period for clever coaches was clear that two peaks is also not enough. And for swimmers and for track and field uh, in particular, it was new design introduced with three peaks. And uh, so after some period in uh, beginning of, of 80, it was clear that all two, three peaks is also not enough. And restrictions of uh, traditional approach were the reason why the <coughs> new uh, winds of reformation was so, became so strong. A number of restrictions should be outlined now. The first one is that uh, traditional approach presupposed 
simultaneous concurrent development of many abilities in the same time. It is a, in particular important for multi-targeted sports like swimming, like canoeing, like combat sports, like many disciplines in track and field, like skying, like, like uh, ball games. Multi-targeted sports, it's, it means that many abilities should be developed. But according to traditional approach, in the preparatory period, some basic abilities were developed concurrently, Mus muscle strength. In the same time, strength endurance in different proportions. In the same time, basic endurance like aerobic ability. And after some period, uh, anaerobic abilities were, became more important and uh, became uh, important for developing. And uh, after that, maximal speed was the target of developing. And as a result, every time the athlete and the coach was focused not on many targets and it was not, good, not bad for the junior athletes and for medium level athletes because, because we received, anyway, we received sufficient stimulation for progression. But the important detail of high level sport, of high performance sport, is a high concentration of workloads to develop specific ability, mostly event specific abilities, because uh, high level athletes need high level of stimulation. And high level of stimulation need high level of concentration, big volume of specialized workloads. And this is the reason why the uh, term of block became popular among the coaches.